instructors were also still here. So it was just like amazing to work with them as colleagues. It was, you know, because I knew that they would mentor and take care of me. So that really made my decision. Uh, to come back here. Okay. I think it's quite the honor. I'm one of the few students who decided to go with the healthcare track and hospitality. So I really took it above and beyond because healthcare is becoming such a hospitable place. People don't just expect your typical care when going into a hospital, they expect more. We always say a funny joke, well, you can save your life, but they still want more. So that's, that's my big thing. At Huntington Hospital, I oversee the front end operations. So it's our big thing in making it a warm and welcoming entrance, similar to what you see in a hotel. This is an honor. I remember sitting in the seat in the audience watching some of my, my peers with this award and I said, you know, one day when I excel and that I hope to receive this award. So it's through the relationships that we have made from being a student here at St. Joe's undergrad and through the graduate program, networking, having these relationships with faculty, making friends and keeping those relationships in our uh, in the healthcare field. St. Joseph has been very instrumental and in helped me move forward in my career. Um, I started out in food service and healthcare um, throughout those years and now going through the past eight years actually that I've been going here. Um, I've learned more about healthcare in general. Um, just not food service alone. So I'm really excited about um, some of the opportunities. There's a lot of work to be done in healthcare, and from, you know what I can see, we need a lot of people to get involved. So I'm really excited about the future of healthcare. I can easily say that I wouldn't be where I am today without St. Joe's. Um, I was an industry changer, so I came from the biopharm applied science background um, and moved into the human service field, and I really didn't have a foundation. So while I had all of, this, all of the hard skills to be able to be successful at what I did, I didn't have the soft skills that made me effective in the human service field. And that's what St. Joe's gave to me. It's, it's been invaluable. And almost six in 10 people who have a mental health condition do not get care. One word, stigma. It still exists. 57% of people, as we said, get no treatment. One third who get treatment can only take a pill. The new challenge and the award winners here also kind of helped to point to that is where is it used to be? My doctor is my primary care physician. My therapist and my psychiatrist says that they don't talk about what's being forced on all of us in a good way is we need to be a part of teams. This is the new platform for healthcare delivery is being a part of an effective team. So